Hello everyone and welcome back to Prison Architect. As you guys can tell, I'm now back at the start of a new prison again and that's because my old prison was absolute shit and I know that and that was just because I never played the game before and I did my best but I probably should have looked up some, some tutorials and things like that but I did! Okay, I spent about an hour watching tutorials to try and figure out how to build a basic prison and I think I got it, okay? I think I know how to build a basic prison now so we're gonna do it we're gonna see if we can make something that actually functions. So it's gonna be a bunch of me building and not saying a whole lot. So hopefully I can shorten up most of the building that I've already done. And then we can probably go from there. So the first thing I'm gonna do is pause the game, guys. Because I have just way too much stuff to do to have it all playing out right now. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna like, we're gonna build some buildings here. Um, and then we're gonna put walls up in between. And this is just planning here now because I need to be able to um, plan stuff out before I start going too crazy here. Uh, let's move that up a bit. Undo. Undo. Stop. Go away. There you go. Okay. So yeah, I'm going to try and build some buildings with some rooms. We can have, um, you need an intake. That's one of the things you need in a prison. You need to have an intake so that there's somewhere for the, um, for the inmates to go right away. So we're going to build one of those. And we also have to build like a gate. You can build like a gate across the road and just fence in the entire prison that way so then when they come in there's no way for them to escape wherever they are in the prison so i think that's probably gonna be pretty helpful so right now guys i'm gonna build a few rooms here and i'm gonna fill two of them one is gonna be filled with an uh, an intake room a reception so that the guys can come in and get straight away before they go to their cells and i'm gonna build a holding cell so that i can get those guys into the prison before i actually start building the rest of the prison so I changed it so now there's only two of the minimum security prisoners and three of the medium security prisoners coming to the prison tomorrow. That way we won't have to have as much to deal with. I think, no, it says next in intake is, oh, here we go. That's what I wanted. So we can make the ratio the way it's supposed to be, I guess, and have five inmates. Now we got two and three. That's what I want. Okay, cool. So those guys are going to come. We're going to build our holding cell here. We're going to build our intake reception area here. And then we got to build some offices around and things. Um, and I'm also going to build a fence. The fence is important. When it comes to fences, you have this thing right here, which is just a fence. $3 per square foot. But then you need to build a gate as well. I'm not sure where the gates are. Probably in objects or something. The gate goes across the road so that you have to drive into the prison through the gate. I didn't realize that was the thing, but it is pretty damn smart road gate so we put a road gate right um right here let's say we put another road gate down somewhere like i don't know how far should we bring it down maybe to here something like that maybe maybe we'll un undo that can we undo okay get rid of that and put it down just below the garbage there okay so we do that and then all we got to do is take our materials take a fence and build a fence around the entire prison so that no one can escape okay so right now our prison is going to be um about this big, I guess. I don't know. I don't want to go too crazy with the size of the prison right now. Because, I mean, I don't really know what I'm doing. But I'm going to try a little bit harder to not screw it all up this time. Okay? As I said, I learned some stuff. So we'll see. This prison is already starting to look way better than the last one did, guys. They're building some rooms down here. Some staff rooms for the warden and stuff like that. Over here, we got a reception and our holding. And I got to build a big old building over here to put the prisoners in. And I gotta have a building for them to eat in and things. Apparently, you want to have a decent-sized um, cafeteria kind of thing. So I'm gonna build a decent-sized cafeteria now. Okay, I'll build everything out of brick, just just to keep it the way it is. Okay, so let's go with maybe something like this. I think this would work. I want to keep everything looking kind of good. I don't like it when stuff looks really bad. That's just how I am. Oh, you know what we should do? We should go take one of those uh, contracts. Where are they? Somewhere around here. Grants. Basic detention center. Now we know what we gotta have: a holding cell, a shower, a yard. Yada yada yada. I think we press play. Yep, a bunch of those get crossed off. So we gotta get, do a shower, a yard, a kitchen, and a canteen. Okay, we can do that. Why not? Here come the prisoners. You got yourself a little jail bus here. And look at that. Are you ready for it? I don't know what the hell just happened. The gate didn't really work so well. Come on, gate. You're supposed to open up. Uh, open. Yeah? Yeah, I don't know why it didn't work. I probably got something messed up. But for now, we're just going to put it back on normal mode and hope it closes again. There you go. Okay, that's not so bad. That's not so bad. And here come the uh, here come the prisoners. So they're just going to wait. They can't really do anything. It's not like they can make a run for the gate because there is no gate right now. And here comes this guy. He's going to pick each dude up and he's going to bring him in. Do you need another staff? You want me to get another guard? Here you go. We'll get another guard going too. So then we got more people to bring them around. I'm still making 833 bucks a day because I have prisoners at my prison now. Smart. That's how you make money, guys. Put people in prison. So now these guys get searched. 
so that they can uh, find out if they have anything they shouldn't have on them. So they're all being searched at the moment, I think. Oh, what's this? A prison uniform, and it's dirty. Okay, okay, so far so good. This guy's just standing up naked by the look of it. Psychologist required to show need. So once we get a psychologist, guys, we can actually see what the prisoners want in the prison. That guy just got some more clothes. And once that's all done, I think these guys are gonna go to the, um, go to the holding cell. There are no canteens accessible by this cell. There will be, don't worry. We just gotta actually build one. We gotta bring some uh, utilities over here first. This is gonna be where the canteen is, so we gotta bring our electrical cables over into this room. And then we have to actually build the canteen itself. So I gotta put some walls in here and stuff. This is the building, right? This isn't just a, yeah, this is definitely a building. This one I built with just walls. You can't do that. You need to build it as a building so that they'll put a roof on it. And then you can put walls in where you need them after. So I'm just building most of this based off a tutorial I saw on the internet. So uh, most of the stuff I'm doing here is just kind of what I saw someone else do. It's not really a big deal. <laughs> I can't really do stuff for myself at the moment. Okay, so we're going to build a wall across there. We're going to build a staff door. That's something that needs to go there so they can get in. And then we just need to build actual kitchen stuff. So if you go to rooms again now, we can go with uh, kitchen here. That's going to be built right here. And then the canteen itself is going to be built on the other side of the wall right here. That should work, okay? That should work once we actually get the, uh, the objects in there. And then they should be able to go and eat. But we'll find out soon enough. So I'm assuming at the moment the prisoners aren't, um... They're probably not that happy because I don't know why... But the people that are supposedly building stuff have not built the power going to the water pump yet. So they can't actually take a nice dump. Because if they do, they can't flush the toilet. I don't know what that means. I don't know if people are going to get mad at me for having such a shitty prison. But we're getting there, okay? We're getting there. We just got to finish our administrative center, which is almost done. Because we're just building our offices down here. Once the offices are complete. And we will we will then unlock finance through bureaucracy. I can't even say words today. Bureaucracy. And we'll hire an accountant. And then we'll have ourselves an administrative center. I think that'll be okay. Can we hire an accountant yet? No, we gotta get the actual finance part first. Okay, cool. I think we should probably focus on the prisoner meals first. You guys are giving me some more power with these little capacitors. Because at the moment, there's not a whole lot of power going around. And can you please, for the love of God, fix the toilet? Oh, I don't actually have a pipe going under it. That's the problem. Here you go, guys. Sorry about that. Didn't realize that was an issue. I should have known. I'm not very smart. Okay, these guys are waiting to go get some food now. You see that? As soon as we started building a canteen, these guys were like, Yep, gotta get me some grub. So that's what they're doing at the moment, I think. They keep disappearing because um, I have the fog of war on right now. That just means that you can't see the prisoners unless there's an actual worker in the room with them. An actual like security guard and stuff. So, I don't know. I guess that's okay. It sounds a bit too hardcore for me, but we'll, we'll probably figure it out, okay? Let's get this water into place. We gotta get a large pipe here, and we gotta connect it to this pipe over here. No, we gotta actually, uh, can we bring it under the power station? No, we can't, we gotta go around. That's fine, I can go around, go over here, up here, and we'll connect. All right, we'll have to start this over again because it's just not working, okay? So you guys go and just take that apart, okay? Oh, are they building the new building at the same time as they take apart the old one? That would be pretty cool. I would be okay with that. It looks like that's what they're doing. And then all we gotta do is put in the walls and we can actually do the um, the little uh, beds and stuff. The little jail cells. That's that's what the next thing on our list is. So now, um, there's a big old new area for them to be in, but they're not gonna be in there because I am going to put down some brick wall. This brick wall goes down here. Then we're gonna have a, a little uh, hallway going here. And then we're gonna have some rooms. Now the way this is built, there's a bigger room, but in the tutorial it said you build a bigger room, and those will be the rooms that you put the good people in when they're being good prisoners. And the, the shitty prisoners will go in the shittier rooms. I don't know, man. We'll see. Oh, no. Oh, no. We got we got workers stuck in rooms now, guys. This isn't good. These guys don't know what to do. It's not electrical cable. No root. Of course there's no root. We actually got to put in some doors here. That would be a good idea. So now all we got to do is put in um, some jail doors. Jail door here. Um, and I think we put them here as well. Pretty sure. We don't want these guys getting out of the rooms at any point. Okay. Try that. Somebody come get some doors in here so we can get these guys free. They're stuck. Oh, no. They, they built their own doors. I don't know where they got the materials, but that's not important, okay? It's all working now. Look at this, guys. Feed all prisoners. I think we're actually getting the prisoners fed this time. This is great. Look at you eating your disgusting-looking green soup. Waving your spoons in the air. 
Fantastic. You guys are just great. I wonder what this guy's in for. What did he do? Sentenced to seven years for bribery. Okay. So as soon as these guys build these showers, we have our thing complete. We just completed the grant. We got some more money, I think, because they give you so much when you start and so much when you finish. So now I think we need to start working on the administration center. But let's just see. What's the problem here? No beds and toilets. We're working on that, okay? Somebody is actually supposed to come in and build that right now. And once that's done, I think the prisoners should be doing okay. All right? This is a regular door, and this is a regular door so they can walk in and get their showers. But the cells have jail doors on them just because I don't want anybody to escape. All right? I'm not sure how that stuff works, guys. I'm, I'm really not. I'm just going to go on what I think I know right now. And I don't even know where the prisoners are. I guess they're hanging out somewhere. They're probably in the holding cell, to be honest. We can go over here, and I think we can um, search the cell or something. Or we can take one of our people, like a security guard, and we can actually make him go somewhere. Click on him and then click over here. And I think that makes him walk somewhere. Didn't seem like it. Come on, buddy. I need you to walk somewhere. Right click. Oh, you right click. So click on him and right click, and he'll walk over there. And he'll have a look in the holding cell and see if we actually have prisoners in there. Because we want to have prisoners in the holding cell because that's where they belong right now. Until we get the cells ready. Which is almost done. There they are. Hey guys, how's it going? Yeah, I know. Prison sucks. Get over it. You're the criminals, not me. This is really funny because the guards actually have to let the workers out of the cells after they're done. What's wrong with this cell right now? It doesn't have a toilet. Yeah, someone's supposed to build a toilet. It's not my fault they didn't do it. This is really annoying. I should have waited to put in the doors because now, like, this is getting really annoying for the guards. I think I'm going to hire another one. We're making enough, enough money right now. If I want to hire another guard, I can. Can you take care of these people? Make sure that the workers actually get the job done. We're getting very close to having everything ready in this prison now, okay? Once everything stops flashing, which means that it's, you know, not working properly, I'm gonna be really proud, okay? Because, like, the prison is almost a real prison now. Holy crap. Like, we even have people in beds here. Look at this Woots guy. I don't know what the hell name Woots is, but it's a name, and this guy has it. Matt Woots. He's having fun in his cell, okay? It's great. Where are you guys going now? Oh, you're going for a shower, huh? Or just hanging out or something. I'm not really sure. The guards don't want to let you out, so I'm assuming that you're doing what you're supposed to be doing. I haven't quite messed with the actual, like, uh, oh, yep, they're getting their showers and they're going back in again once the guard gets here. I haven't quite figured out the whole uh, situation with um, schedule yet. I haven't checked how to get the schedule um, to work. It must be here somewhere. Okay, it's the regime. That's where we need to go. So their uh, their showers are at 8 a.m. What time is it right now? It must be around 8 a.m. Because that's when they're supposed to get their showers. It is currently 9, 9 a.m. Okay, so they got their showers and they went back to the rooms. Because right now, according to the regime, it's free time until... Oh, no, it's it's uh, it's lock up until 10 and then free time until 11 and then lock up again and then they're eating and I don't know. I'm going to leave the schedule alone, guys. I don't want to mess with schedules right now, okay? But you guys really enjoyed the last episode. I didn't even mention that. A lot of likes came in. You guys really wanted to see some more of this game, so I'm trying extra hard to make sure this episode doesn't suck and we actually get some stuff done. I don't know what makes a good episode. Probably a prison that works, so I'm trying. No, oh, look at that. They're using the telephones. How sweet. This guy's jigging a little bit. He's probably like crying and controlling me right now. I can't handle prison, man. Oh, what's this? I got a Polaroid. It's a dude using a phone. All right. So this is a little uh, little snippet of our journey here. That's 20 out of 177 or something. I don't know. That's a lot of Polaroids, but I'll take it. Okay. Right now, there's no one in this office. I assume that's why nothing is lit. Let's look at the utilities. It could be lit if it wanted to be. Okay. So we need to hire more people to go in the offices, I suppose. An accountant could definitely go in an office once we actually unlock the accountant. So I'm pretty sure now, guys, since I want to be able to take more people in my prison and make more money, I think what I can do is I can build another cell block down here if I want. I'm not sure if that's the best thing for me to do right now, but I honestly have no idea, so I'm just going to do it, okay? We're going to build ourselves a cell block. I think this is how far over it needs to be, and we're going to bring it down to the end. Like that. It'll be a nice big cell block for lots of new prisoners to go in. They'll have beds just like that one up there and toilets. And it should allow us to make more money. I don't know if we're going to need to expand other things or not. Because this is my first prison. And I haven't watched that many tutorials. So for the most part, I don't know much. But I do know how to have a prison that doesn't suck now. Where the prisoners don't run away. And it seems to be doing alright. Are there hungry people right now? It says like prisoners are hungry and the meals are there to eat. I don't know. I don't know what that stuff means. I'm just waiting for that accountant who has actually um, 
we've, we've actually finished researching because now we can hire her. There we go. An accountant. 200 bucks a day. An advanced staff member that gives access to your financial reports. Boom. Let's have a look at our grants again and see what we should do. Cell block A. The basics are up and running and it's time to build your first cell block and transfer the existing prisoners into cells. Okay. Raise your prisoner capacity to 15. Right now it's only on 6, I think, so I guess we'll get started on that. We're 60% there. Okay. That's cool. That's cool. Let's give it a try. I guess we could probably have people in holding cells too. Maybe that's part of the um, part of the amount we have right now. Because 60% would be like, what, 9? Something around that? Yeah. 9 prisoners would be 16%. So I guess we can have a few in the holding cell. Okay. We have a new thing showing up here. One staff member are exhausted. Build a staff room so they can rest. Okay. I can do that. I chose not to have a staff room before. But we don't actually need this uh, this office in here. So I'm thinking maybe what we can do is we can just dismantle the office. Bulldoze it all. Bulldoze all that stuff. And we'll actually make it into a new room. We'll make it into the staff room instead. Which is... I'm really bad at finding things. Staff room. Okay. Now it's a staff room. And in a staff room we need a sofa and a drink machine. Because that's what you do. You sit down and you drink soda. When you're in a staff room visitors one family's waiting to visit so in that case not only do we need to um you know have a staff room which has pretty much been built they're working on it down here we also need to have a visitation room i don't know how that works i've never um really looked at it but visitation is a room you can build and you need to have a visitor table and it needs to be indoors okay okay so i guess this should be like a jail door instead of a staff door perhaps so let's just uh oh what did i just do did i do a thing can i undo that thing there you go. Okay, now, we are going to put in ourselves a jail door instead of a staff door right here. I need to get rid of the old one first. I get it. It'll happen. Don't worry. And the visitor table, which is just this thing right here. So we'll put a couple of those in there. Um, I don't know really how to put these. I'm just going to put them there like that. We could actually put another one there. I'm not really sure how this stuff works. I think you can actually just walk around everything, even if it's right in your way. But that's enough. That's enough visitor tables. A couple is fine. But I think we need a jail cell door here so, we, so that people don't try and, like, leave the prison. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. We got flooding going on, guys. I don't know how this works, but there is flooding happening right now. I think it has something to do with the fact that I didn't put the drain under the door. I don't know. I don't know. I, I thought maybe the drain didn't have to go under the door. I thought maybe I was doing that wrong, but no. Whatever I did, it is not good. And water is going everywhere right now. Well, holy shit. I guess we'll put the drain on the door then. Okay? Jeez. Okay, the water went away. I'm not really sure why but it did so cool what's this what's happening over here oh snap this guy had some sort of uh contraband when he came in so i think this guy needs to go to lock up solitary confinement three people are waiting for so for solitary now jesus you guys are just crazy i guess i'll put a solitary confinement thing like off of the cell block here so um let me see if i can do this uh brick building Solitary confinement has to be really small because you just literally just stick them in a little tiny room. So I think this is enough right here. And then we just go ahead and inside we just have to build little tiny rooms for them to go in. So yeah, that's going to happen. You guys are going to have to go in solitary and think about what you did, okay? It's time out for you. We did it, guys. We raised our prison capacity to 15 with all these new cells that have been taken care of. They're all wired up and they're watered up and everything is good to go on them. I don't know if visitation is happening or not, but I know that people were waiting visitation. Uh, staff member members should be resting in the new staff room that's been built. I'm not sure what's happening there. It just says that they're exhausted. And we got to build this little solitary confinement place right here. We'll just do a quick rundown of what's in the prison now. We got ourselves a visitation place. We got a reception, a holding cell. Here's our kitchen and canteen. There's places for people to sleep. A shower, more places for people to sleep. This is going to be solitary confinement. And over here is an office, a staff room, and an office. Not a bad prison so far, okay? The prisoners seem to be doing, like, prisoner stuff, okay? They're walking around the yard. Just, I don't know, they kind of look like zombies to me. They're not really doing anything, just kind of floating along. But I guess they just got the prison. So they're probably not over the initial shock of having to spend many, many, many years in prison. But anyway, guys, I'm going to end this video here. So thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like. And I will see you next time. Goodbye.